have you seen the SG50 fish cake? Oh uh, yeah. What do you think about that? It's quite stupid, ah. Uh. <laughs> there are so many stupid things in Singapore that make us uniquely Singaporean. But which is the most stupid thing? Let's hit the streets to find out. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Yeah, it's something that I think Singaporeans would dig. Quite wasteful. <laughs> it's quite stupid, ah. Uh. But it costs the same amount. Would you still buy it? I don't eat fish cake. <laughs> Do you buy it? Uh, no. No? Uh. Do you remember stuff like the Great Singapore Workout? Oh yes, definitely. Yes, of course. <laughs> do you remember how to do it? Yes, of course. Can we do it together? Come on. Okay. Oh yeah. 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 I do. What do you think of that? Would you do it again? They try to make it cool. Um, it's not really my thing. CPF, do you guys contribute? No. <laughs> oh! <laughs> can I run my own business? Oh! It's a sensitive issue. The policy is necessary. It just encourages people to, to save for old age. But do you think it's bad that you can't take it out until a certain age? For now, for, for my thinking, not that way. Lah. Because I'm still able to work, right? Then in future wise, think about the future. Lah. If not, everybody spend money like free flow then. No more when you're young. Then what you owe that time no more money. I just got a, a BTO flat, so I think it's useful. Okay. Oh, at 25 you've got a BTO flat? Yeah. It's a very smart, like wise decision by the Singapore government. Do you think it's to do with CPF? Um, well, yeah, because there's um, interest, so the money keeps rolling. A lot of Singaporeans now don't really save until like, they grow older. Then they realize that's a problem, so I think it's good that the CPF money is there. There are pros and cons. The good thing is that they are making people safe. The bad thing is that it belongs to us, but yet we can't get it out from our own account. It's useful definitely when you talk about especially buying your own house. If you had a choice, would you prefer to not contribute to CPF? Now we start saving for our house. Oh, yeah. Pay by CPF after we get everything one, we don't need to anymore. Uh, for me, it's, I, I'm okay with saving in the account, but I think it should be a flexible account whereby I can anyhow, anytime that I want to take it out, I'll be able to take it as well. Well, I think if I was able to touch it now, I would spend it on, spending on nonsensical things, I guess. So. Like Cordelia? <laughs> I wish, uh, I wish, uh, Jade, it's not happening, you know, I wish, no. <laughs> yeah, I've already spent it, so it's good, it's, it's safe in the hands of the government for now. Do y'all think it's a good thing, CPF, like, forcing us to save? Mm, I don't know, as long as it provides. <laughs> Action. Okay, so the team prepared this for me to eat, but I'm not going to do that, because that is really stupid. Anyway, while we're on stupid, let me know what you think in the comment box below. Remember to subscribe and like the video. I'll catch you on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter. Bye! Action. Okay, so the team prepared this for me to eat. But I'm not going to do that because that's really stupid. Anyway. Remember to like... <laughs> Get one more. Okay, so the team prepared this for me to eat, but I'm not going to do that because that's really stupid. Speaking of stupid things that they make me do, remember to like, to share and subscribe. And I'll catch up with you on Facebook, on Instagram and on Twitter.